Hello, welcome to SM Design. My name is Surina. Welcome, welcome. I would like to introduce myself. Um, as you and like I say, my name is Surina, and uh, I'm living in Sydney, Australia. Uh, I'm originally from Malaysia, uh, north uh, part of Malaysia near Langkawi Island. So we another uh, fisherman village kind of thing called Kuala Kedah. So not far from uh, Langkawi Island. And anyway, I've been living here for in Australia for about thirty four years. Coming this November, I think. Yeah, thirty four years. I have two kids, one boy, one girl. One girl, one boy. Thirty four years old and um, twenty years old. Just turned twenty about a few days ago. So uh, I'm. Uh, I'm. Um, uh, well-known artist in uh, in the field of a uh, painting abstract painting uh, I got uh, five award for finalist award and four or five I forgot now the latest one for my rug um, tapasri doodling uh, rug that I done on my youtube channel check it out uh, also won the award for honorable mention award a small tiny award but an uh, award so uh, I think I got five of them now four or five of them right now so uh, from the art uh, show international gallery in Los Angeles so I entered the competition for abstract so I got in so yeah and I also um, established for my solo exhibition in the art show international gallery in Los Angeles also so check it out under Soleha Muhammad S O L E H A H M O H A M A D solo exhibition if you type under go in the website and then uh, go to the artist if you check it out under S so you google it out so all my information all about my schizophrenia and what I like and how I go about and do my art and stuff like that all in there so yeah this is a video log number three i think or number four i haven't done video log for a long long time so yeah i thought i'd do it for 2023 so what do i do now uh i just entered the competition i won the honorable award mention award like i say for the uh, rug i will give me a second i'll be right back okay i'm back i just have to uh, pick it up this massive 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 nearly one meter rug so enter competition so got it in and uh, what am I up to okay um, I got a lot of whips that I'm testing at present moment I'm doing this using a scrap um, variegated yarn or join them together in the ball in the cake so nearly there I have to wind another one and um, the collar is um, double crochet two rows and all the rest is uh, variegated First, I'm thinking to do helix. I do helix, and then I'm thinking, you know what? It's easier if you do a, a yarn cake and uh, put all them together. So that's what I did. I also have. I got a lot of whips. Hang on. An orange. Just a simple. Sweater yet to be finished, finalized. I got this uh, problem when I done already finish already halfway to here underneath your breast, and I stop. Like I just, I don't know why I I just got that, and then I just don't don't pick it up. And I have this cardigan. It's crochet. So I love the pattern. You can see the pattern. So yeah. Using variegated. So that will be like that. 
up to the breast and I stop to this is what the problem with me so I will finish it but I pick up the arm with the knitting in the round for the arm so I will finish this by next week I hope and I have this <sighs> this is since last year double strand uh, yarn holding double strand yarn yet to be finished and uh, this is a sweater also yet to be finished so yeah and um and this yet to be finished so yeah So meanwhile, I just do. Uh, I finish this uh, oversized dress. I make it about a week ago. So, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And um, that's my whips. And uh, let's talk about. Uh, we I also do weaving. I'm a learner of weaving so I got the thing and the on the loom but far away the other side so this is knitting and creating uh, side as you can see uh, if you can see Alisa there so this is uh, in my couch this is where I do all my knitting and my um, crochet so I located my studio uh, that that side is a weaving and uh, opposite side is a sewing and this side is my knitting It's very very messy because of yarn everywhere whips everywhere you know that so yeah yarn on the floor so I had to pick it up but because I'm making a cake so I had to leave it on the floor so yeah so that's the story uh it's very very hot day today today is reached and nearly 40 degrees celsius in sydney australia the hottest day in the month i think or the year something like that that's what they say so yep if you can hear the noise it's just my fan So my attention is um the um, the tail I will put it in the front so make it like a features for the sweater so I'm not gonna cut it off I'm gonna bring it to the front make it a features so I cast it on increasing to 206 divided by 2 is uh, 103 that is way way all bigger than what i i have to uh think but it looks so small so i'm not really sure that's why i'm um, i'm thinking to increase another 50 i see i want baggy so maybe i should increase i so yeah, this is a um, part of the design, and uh, is a is a it's not a flaws, 
because it's a uh, yeah part of design that's it so just increase it another 50 I'll see so become 150 in the front 153 in the front 153 in the back so I have to make sure that when I want to increase it plastic tape measure say approximately 5 inches I'm going to increase it so I won't increase it yet so well, join with me if you got the knitting Please join with me and leave the comment what kind of whips you have at present moment. Do you design a new... Um, I watch this Mel Mix uh, things in YouTube channel. I love it. The way she do the fair owls. Like attracted to her fair owls. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I haven't done fair house for a long time but not the way um, she do it she do it it's so beautiful like Mary Wallens like that she got all Mary Wallens um, uh, book that's what I need to buy Mary Wallen book At present moment, I just need and pull, need one row, pull one row. If you hear the noise, is outside uh, from my neighbor. Before I need, I just show it to you all what it look like. You see that? It looks small. It looks small, eh? But I like the pattern already. Can you see that? It's from variegated yarn. You see the abstract thing? As you all know, I'm an abstract kind of person. So, I just love it. So, yeah. I'm just going to increase another 50. First purling first. And then the next one, I will do... An increase so total five inches so that will be maybe even 60 60 I'll make it 70 I'm gonna increase a uh, hang on if hundred so should be alright if increase every second stitch Increase every second stitch. So that is 50 here. So 150. 150 plenty for 150. 150. Yep. Okay. Now I'm calculating the, the, the pattern. Look at that. The pattern is beautiful, isn't it? It's from variegated. You um, wind the thing. Some of them got black and white. Some of them colorful. Some of them red. Some of them. So yeah. That's what it look like at present stage. I'm 
I just uh, pulling. Pulling is my uh, worst enemy because I'm very very slow. I think a lot of people are very slow at pulling, and uh, it's not tight has a has a need. Did I say I'm using 5mm knitting needle? Just pull away. I'm gonna increase the uh, front and back. Every second stitch, I will increase front and back. After I finish the pulling row. The dust. I have to uh, teach myself again how to do fair owls. I want to try to do Mary Wallen's um, kind of inspired kind of uh, sweater. But I got a lot, a lot of a uh, picture. So I just um, sketch it in my book. What pattern I want? I show you. All. I got a pattern already done. Oh yeah, where is the? So done. I also done this. Triangle. And that pattern. So I done that for the collar. Because that is the pattern, and I got another pattern here to do. So, yeah, I just had to uh, get it from my uh, Pinterest. As soon as I get it from my Pinterest, I just draw whatever I want. But seven uh, pattern, no five pattern, small one, and then uh, using the
the store big one then five pattern the small one so that's it when i make small one is two by two or two by three so at least the flute is not so big you know but you can catch the flute so that's easy excuse me okay that's finish pulling now we're gonna increase part front and back the second one front and back drastically increase half of a hundred is 50 isn't it so yeah so total will be 153 at present moment 100 so increase every second half a hundred is 50 Then after that, increase another 50 again. So, I want to make really, really baggy.
just need one inch after this increase then increase again another time and that's it my sweater construction is very very easy basic Done. Let's measure it how how long it is now. Seventeen inches. So make it until twenty inches when increase the second time. So 17, approximately 17. So yeah guys that's it uh, just a uh, knitting away just a bit short video log I'll show you what I my whips and stuff let me pull until finish then I will say goodbye to you all I hope you all have a lovely lovely day if you stress learn to knit pick it up a lot of uh, YouTube channel plenty of people teaching how to knit my advice to you all if you first timer of thinking to do knitting if you are crochet uh, make sure that invest in the cheap uh, like this bamboo eight dollars nine dollars uh, one whole set of uh, bamboo um, needle circular needle don't use a straight needle 
because you're gonna get frustrated the thing gonna drop and stuff like that so my advice to you all this is how I pick up uh, knitting I used to be afraid for 30 over years about knitting what a waste I imagine the thing that I can design so then I stumbled one time I think about two years ago I said that's it I want to learn to knit and uh, I remember I got circular needle so I pick up circular needle and never never look back so I vouch for circular needle never turn back to the straight needle or DPN I'm a circular needle girl so yeah if you want to learn to knit use a circular needle use a worsted weight yarn you got plenty of worsted weight yarn do a uh, multi color like this in the scrap yarn you got wind it into the cake and make this kind of a uh, uh, jumper a uh, sweater first construction is very easy you know how to knit just knit two rows of um, about 90 90 stitches of crochet double double crochet them two rows in the round and then pick it up from the um i explain to you just one second this construction is very 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 easy if you all want to learn to do it is uh 90 stitches chain 90 stitches then join in together and then double crochet two rows one whole round two two rounds sorry two round of double crochet then pick up the stitches all around and knit away but first you have to do a, a scrap yarn uh, scrap buster that's the best thing scrap buster of uh, variegated if you don't have variegated you can use a normal yarn and the same color just join it together or variegate uh, or um into the cake whatever scrap yarn you got but if you got uh variegated key on staring at you and you don't know what to do with it look at what i made based on variegated yarn except the black one here is a normal black and a, a little bit of red and then i start with variegated so you can mix and match nobody uh, gonna police say oh you can't do that you can't do that it's your own design you can do whatever you want don't let people stop you say that you can't do it it doesn't look good it doesn't look good in their eyes but when you join together the colors it pop out and then what make it a pattern sort of a abstract pattern and you say i never thought to do that actually that's what i'm saying so don't let people stop you if you want to learn to do new things i learn something new every day every day and i'm very grateful to god in heaven itself for giving me a chance to create especially abstract So yeah. Okay guys. I nearly finished pulling. I still got 10 stitches to go. 10, 12 stitches to go. So yeah. Try to pick up uh, um, 
how did I learn how to do knitting? Knitting in the in the YouTube got plenty. It learn how to knit, how to pull. That's only two things you learn, and then after that you learn how to um. I I only know simple one, knit and pull, and cast on. And if you don't want to know how to cast on with knitting, you can do the chain. Crochet chain. That's what I sometimes do. My favorite things to do. Just chain it up. And join in the, in the first stitch. Make it around. And then pick up the stitches. You can do that. If you think that cast on, cast off, uh, cast on is very hard. And uh, cast, you have to learn cast off. The only thing, the knitting basic that you need to know is knit stitch. Pull stitch, knit front and back, and cast off. That's it. If you know all that, you can do any knitting. When I say any knitting, any knitting. Fair owls and stuff like that. Look at this. I put it down. Yeah. Look at the pattern emerge. So that's what I'm saying. It look a pattern. It look like something, something. It's a pattern itself. It's abstract. So yeah. Have a good day guys. See you later. Bye.